Hey guys, welcome back to the Introvert Circus. Thank you so much to everybody who watched the live unboxing of my new book last night, Judas Journal. It was so much fun and there were so many surprises that I forgot to say all the things I wanted to say, which was first of all, to thank you guys, to ask if you had any questions about the book, about writing process, any of that stuff. So if you do have any questions, please leave them in the description box below. Also feel free to leave any video requests. I love that stuff. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. I am gonna give you a tour of my dog room. This has been a requested video and I'm super excited to be able to do it. So first of all, I just wanna acknowledge how incredibly lucky and privileged I am to be able to have a training room in my home. This has been a, I was gonna say a lifelong dream, kind of a lifelong dream for me, um, or definitely my life in dogs long dream. I've been involved with dog training and dog sports for over 20 years since I was a teenager. And definitely since that time, the dream was always to have my own training room. It's something I never thought I would ever, ever have um, for a lot of reasons. A big one being that I lived in New York City for over a decade, space was limited. So when we moved to Portland, and we're looking for a house. One of the dream things on my house list was a training room. I didn't think I'd get it, but this house was kind of a magical unicorn and it meant I got a training room. So let's give it a look. I'm going to I'll probably lay there for the duration of the tour. So the flooring, we'll start with that. I've talked about this before. It's Great, Mat Great Mats flooring uh, that I put in a few months ago. It is amazing. I absolutely love it. And it really cleared space for us to be able to do so many more tricks in here. Previously, I had some area rugs, but this gave us like wall-to-wall -wall traction which we needed for tricks, huh, baby girl? So this side, I have a lot of storage for our various bigger trick props on the wall. Because we are a Disney family, I have one of my favorite Disney dogs, Stitch, with BB-8. This is a 12-month uh, portrait organizer. So this is Sirius's first year of life. Every month, we posted pictures. Uh, so that is there. And then this is an amazing piece of art by a artist friend of ours. And down here, under all of this is our rainbow ladder. I have my climbs stacked. I have our little shopping cart in here, as well as a big ball. And between the bookcase and the wall is the wobble board, which I posted a tutorial for making. So I really like as much as possible to keep the big props. There's also a vacuum behind the door away from the center of the room to give us as much training space as possible. So have our introvert circus, fit dog club, AKC banner there that they sent us. And then this bookshelf used to live behind the door and a month ago, about a month ago. Hi, I know, I know. We moved it from behind the door out here and I like it so much better. So. Up here, I have some agility figures that were sent to me by a reader a long time ago. I also have this Lisa Frank box uh, sent from one of my patrons, which I absolutely love. My very first dog many years ago when I was in like first grade was a Lasha Opso. So I have a very special place for Lisa Frank's art and that art in particular as a child of the 90s. Uh, this was a really cute custom box that Sundays sent us at Osiris more agility figures and Sirius's certificate for being part of the AKC Pup Bells program. So next shelf, you've seen this stuff. These are Sirius's trophies from the 2020 AKC National Trick Dog Competition. That one and then one on this side as well. And then our book Tricks in the City and my book Chew This Journal that I unboxed yesterday. If you haven't watched that, definitely check it out. This is my dog trainer, Barbie, Becca. Becca's here with a whole little dog set up. I just love having that here. This I made a couple of weeks ago. I had wanted to make it for years. This is my retired service dog, Mercury's working vest. Uh, Mercury passed away in May at 17 and a half. And it, for the first few years of his life, he was my working service dog. And so I had been meaning to put his vest in a shadow box. The glare is awful. And I finally got around to doing it. So that sits here. Uh, and then the last three shelves are really just trick props. So I have target mats. I have some basketball and a little basketball hoop. I like to use these for teaching like shell game scent games. We have um, some talking but buttons. This one is 
Oh, I thought it was broken. That one's not broken. Um, tap light, target stick, little piano, my tripod. A lot of people ask how I film. I often film using this little tripod, which you can get very inexpensively on Amazon, a lightsaber, and cones for both tricks and rally, ring toss. And then down here, there's more cones as well as a balance disc and a step stool. Also have some dog toys, always have dog toys. There is of course the trophy wall, which you guys have seen in the background of lots of videos, certificates from all of the dog's titles, my trick dog instructor certificate, my canine good citizen evaluator certificate, and the rest of it is from the dogs. Trick dog champion ribbons, rally ribbons, parkour ribbons, medallions from winning a costume contest at our, at our breed, regional breed club, um, Halloween event last year, rally ribbons, trick ribbons, rally trick, CG, oh, CGC is somewhere in here, CGC ribbon. Um, yeah, so lots of ribbons on this wall. This sort of inlet in the wall for now has a crate. I don't crate, um, but we do have it for emergencies. I have an article in the new issue of Modern Dog Magazine talking about why I don't use crates in a uh, meaningful way anymore. So if you wanna check that out, um, go ahead. I have my jump over here and my hula hoop on this side, some art we won in a costume contest. My pups who most recently passed uh, in the last year, my older dogs. And this is some art that Charlotte had um, done. This window is now decorated for Christmas. The lights are around it and I have a dog pulling Santa's sleigh banner up. We have a Newfoundland welcome sign, some more dog art, a dog bell. And now let's go to the very exciting place or the exciting place if you were a dog nerd, the closet, which is huge. And one of my favorite, favorite parts of having a training room is being able to put all of my dog gear in here. So. Let's start above. So all of the bins that are up here are storage. So I like to rotate toys out throughout the year. Um, and so these bins are mostly dog toys. We have huge toy bins throughout our house, but these are different seasons. So I believe this is summer. I still need to pull out our Christmas toys, um, Halloween. This is a backlog of also ha extra Halloween costumes. Uh, Sherpa bags from when my partner and I moved to New York City many years ago, 14 years ago, something like that with our two super senior, well now one of them is now super senior, other one has since passed, but our airline bags, beds, extra small dog beds um, from my special guy who passed, Halloween costumes, more Halloween toys, and I believe this one is split Thanksgiving and uh, Easter toys. And then let's stay on this back end of the closet. I have extra mats for the room. If I ever needed to change any out, there was like a bulk deal when I bought. So I bought extra more mats than I needed. I also have these end pieces, which are what you pull off to connect the matting together. And then the this goes around the edge of the room to make a nice border. I saved them because I wasn't sure if they were going to split apart and need to be replaced. They haven't so far, so I ultimately may recycle these. But also have X pens and extra crates back here. And this is my weave pull set that fully collapses, which I love for storage purposes. Um, back here, I have pool noodles that are left over from physical therapy from my dog Charlotte when she was recovering from a herniated disc um, in her back. Here are spoilers, some uh, PR boxes that I need to do unboxings with for the channel. What else is back here? Promo materials from Kong, might be about it. Oh, ribbons, if you, uh, if I evaluate one of your AKC Virtual Home Manners adult or puppy titles, I send those out to folks. There is, way back here on the edge, there's a um, an edge back there. And this is Stinky Puppy. This is the puppy that uh, Sirius's breeder sent home with her. So he lives there just for fun. I really need to photograph dog product and get those out of here for her Instagram. Then I have this dresser back here, which is full of dog things. This drawer is bandanas. This drawer are 
Chihuahua clothes that are left from my guy who passed away. He acquired many, many clothes in his 17 and a half years of life. These are extra leashes and harnesses and collars, all that good stuff lives here. Uh, down here is dog backpacks. And then down here are bags that I use when we travel, when there's not a pandemic. This is one of my favorite organization tools. It's a like towel organizer from Ikea. It was super inexpensive. Um, but it works really well for dog blankets and dog towels. So that's all in here. Lots of dog blankets and dog towels. This is where I keep all kinds of food and medicine and grooming supplies. Chew bones. This is my industrial supply of poop bags in here. This is a heating pad that also belonged to the Chihuahua. Extra bowls up here. Shampoo. Some I use. Some I've been sent. Um, and I don't know that I've used old uh, or extra thing of wee wee pads. They're always just good to have. Um, the Hydro Scrub Paw Cleaner, very strange, actually works really well. Love this, was sent this um, maybe a year ago. Down here is my supply of canned pumpkin, which I just stocked up on again because there's been a bit of a shortage of it, both because of, I think, um, the holiday and also the pandemic. And it's always just good to have tons of wet canned dog food from my little guy who passed. This was one of the only things he could or would eat. So I have dog food for a long time. My backstop of Easy Cheese, which is my favorite grooming supply. I love it. Um, this bin is extra toys and things. Some stuff we've been sent. Sirius is bumper for swimming in the summer. Um, and other little training things. So it's like a notepad that Sirius draws pictures in. So training props that I don't need out all of the time. Also have the box from her Fit Bark. We also have a Fi collar here that we, spoiler, might be changing to. Um, this shelf, I have grooming supplies on flea tick, heartworm medication or preventative, a lot of extra pill pockets because we had geriatric Critter, critters for many many years unfortunately our geriatric um guys have since passed so we don't have as many any and really anybody on daily medication anymore but i still have a bunch of pill pocket or a bunch of pill containers grooming wipes these are one of my favorite hacks not sponsored which i was always have them on hand they're great for any kind of messes that you just need a quick spot clean and don't need a full bath for dogs and cats combs and brushes and shedding rakes and nail clippers, um, hot spot spray, case emergency, water bottle, that kind of stuff. Basically any miscellaneous grooming that I don't use on any kind of regular basis lives over here. Cat food, I'm waiting for a big order to come in from Chewy. So I have cat food back here, prescription for my 20 and a half year old cat and other treat food for my seven year old extra peanut butter in bulk, Sirius's supplements, and a roll of paper towels because you can never have too many of those. Oh, and down here, I have a backpack that I use when we go to the beach. And then um, my favorite Kurgo small dog carry bag that uh, I used all the time with my Chihuahua in his senior years. Also have DA pet safety icer here for our back patio. Don't really need it here. That's a holdover definitely from having lived in New York City and knowing that we need a de-icer there, but um, we have it just in case it doesn't really get that cold here that often in Oregon. Um, what else do we have here? I have extra shampoo, some boxes for scent work training, and a giant refillable thing of Nature's Miracle, dry cat food, dry dog food. These tubs are, look a little beat up, but that's mostly residue from duct tape because we moved these tubs cross country from New York. I used them to move dog toys in because yes, I moved dog toys cross country. So this is just kind of the way the plastic got beat up by the tape, but I promise you they are clean and work very well. This is our tunnel, which folds flat again, really great for storage and collapse small dog stairs for getting onto furniture again from my tiny guy who passed on um, up here. This is gets fun. So this is a tub of K2 
kibble that is not kibble that I use. This is actually one of the kibbles we opened in an unboxing video last week that I used for training. So I have it just here in a container that I can grab. This is my grooming tub of stuff I use on the regular. Easy cheese for nails, nail dremels. There's a comb in here and uh, ear cleaner. Also stuff we use on the regular, Sirius's pill container that is her daily supplements. So that's in here. Tug toys, some random nice cookies, dog cookies, a whole bunch of clickers and pill pockets just in case for an emergency. And then we have the treat section. I like to use her cute little AKC Pup Pals bandana here to decorate it. This is stuff to the gills, mostly because of the pandemic. This was from a bark box. I just think it's really cute. Um, mostly because of the pandemic. So we've been overstocking to make sure that we don't run out of anything. Also treats that were sent to us. Um, she won these in a virtual costume contest. Things that were sent to us by um, brands. You've seen unboxings with those as well as treats from her bark box. And then treats I picked up at Trader Joe's on various shopping trips. So we are super high. She says, what are you doing with my tweets? I know. Did you think we got treats in here? We are super set on treats, but better to be stocked up. So that is the tour. Oh, and this is her rainbow costume because it doesn't fit in the other tubs of Halloween costumes. That one wedges there when it is not Halloween or June. So yeah, that is a tour of our training room and I love it. It is one of my favorite places baby, in the house. We spend a ton of time playing in here. And it's just, it's one of my favorite things. And I'm so grateful that we have it. I know you just woke up from a big nap, which means you probably want to go outside. Uh, yeah. Filming, I realized I should clearly just get the Christmas toys out. Huh, Sirius, do you want your Christmas toys? So I already pulled a couple out and I thought I would bring you for the rest. We got some of our Christmas toys out. Now we're going to see the rest of what we got in here. I love to trade out toys for different seasons. It definitely makes them new and exciting. This is a fruit cake, I believe. What else do we have? We have a sugar plum fairy. This is a, I think, last year's bark box toy. We have a big grunting Christmas sheep. These will obviously move throughout the house. We have a um, cinnamon roll. We have a Christmas octopus. Very exciting. Candy cane. Who doesn't want a hippopotamus for Christmas? What else is in here? And two birds on a log. It's like Christmas in here. We have a squirrel in pajamas. Oops, sorry, serious. And a gingerbread guy who has no ears. So those were, and there's this ball that I'm not going to give her because it was Charlotte's and she will um, chew it up. And I don't want her to chew up plastic. So that will just stay in there. She will happily play with the plush toys. She's really good about uh, mostly not destroying her plush toys, but hard rubber toys that are not designed for Newfoundland size mouths, we avoid. Did you get that? Oh my goodness. Did you get your Christmas sheep? I think that her pet sitter gave her that one for Christmas last year, huh? <gasps> Did sitter Teresa give you that? I'm pretty sure that's who gave you that one. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Bye. I hope you enjoyed this tour. And if you have not already subscribed, please subscribe. Please give this video a thumbs up and we will see you in another Vlogmas video tomorrow.